Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the inverse of a 2x2 and a 3x3 matrix. Um, and this is a really useful skill to have because, for example, we can use it to help us solve systems of linear equations using matrices, which I will do a video on in the future, um, and lots of other stuff. So we can only take an inverse of a matrix if its determinant is non-zero. So say we had a matrix A, if the determinant of A was equal to zero, then it would have no inverse and we would call it a singular matrix. So it would be singular. Now, if I took, say, another matrix B, if the determinant of matrix B was non-zero, so it did not equal zero, then it would have an inverse and it would be called non-singular. Okay, so you might hear people talk about singular, non-singular matrices, that's what we mean. So how do we calculate the inverse for a two by two? We'll say I had a generic two by two matrix A that was A, B, C, and D. The first thing you always wanna do is calculate its determinant because that will tell you if it has an inverse or not. So say we've calculated the determinant of matrix A, which can be found by doing, uh, determinant of A can be found by doing AD subtract BC. The way we calculate the inverse is by doing well, the inverse of A is equal to 1 over the determinant of A multiplied by, and what we do is we swap the elements A and D in A, so we get a new matrix, which is like this, and then we take the negatives of elements B and C, so we get negative B, negative C, and this gives us our inverse uh, matrix. So for example, let's say we had the matrix uh, M, that was 4, 3, 1, 1, and we want to find its inverse. Well, like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is find its determinant. So the determinant of M, well, that's going to be equal to 4 multiplied by 1, subtract 3 multiplied by 1, and so it's got a determinant of 1, which isn't 0, therefore we have an inverse. I'm then going to, to find the inverse, do 1 over the determinant, multiplied by, well, I'm going to swap elements A and D, so we get 1 and 4, and then I'm going to take the negatives of elements B and C, so negative 3, negative 1. And so I get my inverse is equal to, well, if I just multiply it all by the scalar 1, I'm just going to get the same matrix. So 1, negative 3, negative 1, 4. And if you were to multiply element or matrix M by its inverse, we would get the identity. And you can check that for yourself. And it doesn't matter if we pre or post multiply by the inverse, it would still be the identity. So let's move on to 3 by 3 matrices now. Okay, so let's look at a 3x3 three three matrix. Say I've got a generic 3x3 three three matrix B that I could write as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Now the first thing I'm going to want to do is find its determinant. Okay, so step one, I guess, I'm going to find its determinant like this. And if it's non-zero, then we can carry on because it will have an inverse. The next thing I'm going to do is find what is called the minor uh, determinants a through to i okay and the way we find the minor determinants okay so there are going to be nine is well to find the minor determinant of a i look at element a and i eliminate the rows and columns of a like this and what i'm left with is these four elements here i'm going to find the determinant of them so we could say the minor determinant of a well that's going to be equal to e f h i and I'm going to want to do that for every single element in the matrix B. So say I want to find the minor determinant of D, for example. I'm going to elim eliminate the rows and columns of D. And that's going to leave me with B, C, H, I. So the minor determinant of D, or I'll use lowercase d rather, is going to be equal to, well, the determinant of B, C, H, I and you want to find all of them. So find them all, A, B, C, all the way up to the minor determinant of I, okay? Now, once you've found these, you're going to find what's called the cofactor matrix, okay? So to find the cofactor matrix, you're going to create a three by three matrix that is made up of your minor determinants. So I guess, right, step three, find the cofactor matrix, which is going to look something like this. So it's going to be a three by three, where say we call the minor determinant of A, capital A, the minor determinant of D, capital D. So these are all going to be capitals. It's going to be A, uh, negative B, C, negative D, E, negative F, G, negative H, and I. So these are just all numbers that are the minor determinants. Once we've done that, we're going to then find what's called the adjoint matrix, 
which can be found by transposing the cofactor matrix. Now when we take the transpose, we're just making all of the columns the rows and all of the rows the new columns. So the uh, adjoint matrix, which we adjoint matrix, okay, we can transpose the cofactor and we'll get a new matrix that looks like this. A, negative B, C, negative D, E, negative F, G, negative H, and I, like that, okay? And finally, the last step, once we've found the adjoint matrix, we're going to multiply it by 1 over the determinant of matrix B. So we get 1 over the determinant of matrix B multiplied by, well, this big, in fact, let me just copy and paste it to save time, this big matrix here, like that. And that will give us the inverse. So let's look at an example, because I think that makes a lot more sense than what I was just talking about there. So say we have a matrix N, okay, and it could be the matrix 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 4, 5, 6, 0. There we go. So this is my matrix N that I want to find the inverse of. Well, what's our first step? Let's go up. It was to find the determinant of B. And I've got a video on finding the determinant of 3 by 3 matrices, if you're unsure. So the determinant, well, of N in this case, is going to be 1 multiplied by uh, the minor determinant of, well, the 1. So it's going to be whatever's left. So 1, 6, 4, 0. So 1, whoops, 1, 4, 6, 0. And then I'm going to multi uh, subtract 2 multiplied by that minor determinant. So that's going to be 0, 4, 5, 0. And then I'm going to add on 3 multiplied by its minor determinant, which is going to be 0, 1, 5, 6. So let's work this out. Well, we're going to get 1 multiplied by negative 6, 12, 18, 24. Subtract 2 multiplied by negative 20 plus 3 multiplied by negative 5. And if we work through all of that, we get negative 24 plus sorry, neg uh, positive 40 subtract 15. So if we work that out, we get 1. So that's equal to 1. The determinant of n is 1. As it's non-zero, we don't we have a non-singular matrix, and so it's going to have an inverse. So we've got the determinant. What was our second step? It was to find all of the minor determinants. So let's do that. So the minor determinant A, so let's call it capital A. Well, that was if we eliminated the first row, first column, and we took the determinant of this. So now I'm going to quickly find all of the minor determinants, and then I'll come back when I've got them all. Okay, so I've just found all of the minor determinants. You can check if you had a go, they're all here. And so what was the next step? We found all the minor determinants. Now we need to find the cofactor matrix, which is here. And so I'm just going to substitute in all my values. I don't want to put it funny. I'm going to substitute in all my values, A, B, C, D. So all of my minor determinants into there. So it's going to look like this. So let's say we're finding the cofactor matrix. So it's A, negative B, so 20. Uh, C, negative D, E, negative F, G, um, negative H, and I. From here, we're going to now find the adjoint matrix, which is the transpose of the cofactor matrix. So let's transpose that, so step four. Well, if I transpose it, I'm going to get the matrix negative 24, 20, negative 5, 18, negative 15, 4, 5, negative 4, and 1. And the last step was to multiply the one over the determinant by the adjoint matrix. So the determinant we worked out was one. So I'm going to do the inverse of n is equal to one over the determinant multiplied by this adjoint matrix. So let's duplicate it, put it down there. And so that's just equal to what the adjoint matrix was. So the inverse of n is equal to this. And there we go. We've, that's how you can calculate the inverse of a 2x2 two two and a 3x3 three three matrix. Hopefully it was useful. If it was, subscribe. Go to my channel to check out all of my other videos. And thanks for watching.